In this video, I'm going to talk with you about a PC that sits on the cloud and you can access it from anywhere. All you need to do is you need to have a device and working internet connection. And when we talk about a device, the device can be anything, be it a PC, Android, iOS or even iPad. You can access your computer from anywhere because the computer stays in remote or in cloud. So if you were looking for this kind of setup where you are not device dependent, then this video is for you. And in this video, not only I'm going to show you, but I'm going to also let you know how you can try it first for the whole month. If you like it, then you can continue it. And in this video, we're not going to talk about none other than Windows 365 Cloud PC. So let me quickly show you how you can get started. For that, let me take you to my computer screen. And here, let's open internet browser. So I'm going to open one such. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type Windows 365 Cloud PC and let's hit enter. Now here is the link. And again, not to worry guys, I'm going to also provide you the same link in the description of this video. You can also reach to the same page from that link as well. Now here you're going to see these two options. First one says compare plan and pricing. Second one says try for free. And before we try, let me also quickly show you the plans because maybe your workflow is like this. You always wanted to have a PC that stays on cloud and I can access it from anywhere. Now, so let's click here on compare plan and pricing. And there we go. So here you can see with $31, what you are getting is two core processor, four gigabyte of RAM and 120 gigabyte of storage. But when you bump up the price, then the second option is standard where the cost is $41. And then the change here is increase amount of RAM. And when we talk about the premium one here, you're going to get everything bumped up except storage, which is now you're going to have four core CPU and whopping 16 gigabyte of RAM. So this totally depends on the kind of workload you have or the way you would like to utilize this cloud PC. But the free trial is only available with standard plan. So let's say if you are from US, you can directly click here and then can get started. In my case, I need to change the country. So let me again go back and change the country from where I belong. And then again, you do not need to worry about whether you are from US or from India, the process of installation remains same. So here also I'm going to hit try for free. And now again, um, I need to click on try one month free. Now here Microsoft is providing additional 16% of discount to Windows 11 Pro and Windows 10 Pro users. So if in case you are using these variant of Windows, then you can avail that extra discount. And if you do not have, then you can click on this second link. Okay. Now after you have opened this link, what we need to do, you need to choose the length of your subscription. So I'm going to keep it one year. Then only you're going to get one month of trial for billing. Also, I would recommend you to go with monthly because if in case you do not like it and you have selected the billing period as yearly, you will see, you know, good amount of money will be deducted from your account. So I would suggest you to start with monthly and when you feel satisfied, then you may change your plan to yearly if you think that, you know, there are extra discount are being provided and again you do not need to worry about the trial period because the trial period is absolutely free there won't be any money deducted from your account and let me show you how i am saying it because let me make it a little bit more zoomed in here you can read about it okay so it says that after trial end it will become a one year paid subscription you won't be charged if you cancel before the trial end okay so this is my trial end date and then even let's say the trial end date passed and then you forget to unsubscribe still you're going to have seven days to cancel for prorated refund so they're going to charge you for each day for up to seven days if in case you forgot to unsubscribe it okay now let me again zoom it out and let's click here on next now here you need to enter your email address so let me quickly my email address now let's click next now here you need to solve the puzzle. This is so weird. I mean, the AI or the computer is asking us to prove that we are not computer. 
so that's funny now let me click here on set account and here you need to enter your detail so i'm gonna quickly enter my detail here And after filling this form, you need to click on next, then click on use this address. And here you need to enter your PAN. So I'm going to put my PAN number here. Then let's click on next. Now here you're going to get your own domain name. So here is the user. So I'm going to make user even smaller. Pritam at the rate. And then here I'm going to say my domain name, which if you know you have your own website, you're going to see your name at the rate your website.com. But since I have not provided any domain name, so I'm going to get on Microsoft.com. So here I'm going to say Pritam 7 dot on Microsoft.com. Now here I can make a password. And let's click on next and it seems like this particular domain is not available so i'm gonna type something else maybe or even i can make it double e so i need to remember this which is my username is pritam and then the domain name is niggy 7 dot on microsoft.com and now here we need to enter our card detail and again as i said you do not need to worry about anything being charged you extra Simply provide your car detail. So let me provide that. And sometime, especially in India, you need to make sure that your card needs to be either Visa or MasterCard as Rupee card is not supported here. Now I'm going to enter my expiration month and year. Now let's click on save. Now I'm going to again click on use this address. Now this will take us for a deduction of two rupees to verify your payment method. And finally here we need to provide our pan. And after providing our PAN, here we can see the following amount of the tax we need to pay. So if let's say you have a company, you can avail or you can file a return on this estimated taxes. Now let's click here on start trial. And finally here we can see we have successfully started our trial. Now let's click here on next. And then this is the ID that we have created, which is the following. Now I'm going to click on next. And here probably we're going to use Microsoft Authenticator to add an extra layer of security. So I hope that you are already aware of Microsoft Authenticator. It is a very simple app that you can install it in your Android or your iPhone. All you need to do is after the app got installed, you need to scan QR code from that app and then here we need to verify it. So let me quickly enter here 87 and in this way guys, we have enabled two factor authentication for our Microsoft account. Now let me click here on next and then click on done. Now I can also enable this reduce sign in. Now let's click here on start using this Windows 365 business trial. Now I'm going to again choose the same account and again and there we go. So let me click on not now and let me now close all the tabs and not to worry guys stay tuned with us because I'm going to also show you if you do not want to take any risk you want to straight away cancel this plan then I'm going to show you how you can. And even if when you cancel the plan, you still will able to use this Windows Cloud PC till the trial period get expires. For that, again, let me go back and here I'm going to go here on admin. And here in subscription. Here I can see 
that this is the renewal or expiry date we can simply click on cancel subscription now here you can write down the reason which could be anything now click on cancel subscription and in this way you have cancelled the subscription okay now i'm gonna go back here and here we can see our system is getting configured so let's wait for a while and unfortunately as soon as i hit here on cancel my subscription here you can see the license got disabled automatically so if you have planned to utilize this windows cloud pc then i would suggest you to unsubscribe it three or four days before else you will also feel this kind of issue where you have the windows cloud pc available but you will not able to access it because everything is now disabled here but still not to worry guys for further step i'm gonna attach my another video in the description of this one which kind of shows you the capability of it and how you can proceed further from this stage i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if so then please make sure you subscribe to technoholic to see more such content related to productivity and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye